July the 28th, 2022. I am going to give you an update on Ukraine. It's been a while since I've not touched that topic and I want to give you what, how exactly I estimate the whole thing. By the way, it appears as if uh, my lips are totally delayed with what I state. Uh, it appears to me that it is just not uh, coordinated with what I speak. It is just totally delayed. So I think that there is somebody else getting something through the internet uh, somehow while I'm recording this, but that's okay. Look. Uh, in respect to Ukraine, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be really short as much as possible and make sense out of it based on what I, my observations, uh, which for that matter, as an entry, I'm going to use this Yahoo Brokers. Uh, this is a page that broker deals mainly between Republicans, Democrats. Um, the thing about it is that, in my eyes, there absolutely is no difference between Republicans and Democrats. You have some extremists in both parties. You have some Obamas in a Democratic Party. And uh, you have some Trumpets in a Republican Party. But all in all, in between these two, uh, both political parties are on the same coin. Basically, two different faces presenting about just the exactly the same coin. Uh, a deep state is the one that maneuvers all this. And in this case, Joe Biden, who was involved 28 years ago, became involved in MKUltra case and was the best friend of Vladimir Putin. U.S. government could not but push Joe Biden in between uh, Donald Trump, uh, various other Republicans, which were, which I'm going to say, in a good sense, they radically sticked to the U.S. Constitution. It was the icebreaker for the Democrats. Definitely was a Joe Biden. Then Kamala Harris jumping between with Obama, with Eric Holder team, and truly in 96 went into extreme that they started to play with a cancer with me in Belgrade. That was their, that was something that I owe them to thank them for the cancer. Uh, I told you when Joe Biden commences his presidency, his presidency only is going to be used to cover up the most obvious. Uh, it was all in agreement between several presidents, such as Bill Clinton, under whose presidency MKUltra torture commenced in 1995, when I immigrated to the United States of America to Miami Beach. It's where I stayed 11 and a half years. Uh, did not immigrate anywhere in within those 11 and a half years, with exception to my ex-wife's relatives in Ecuador with her on three occasions. That's all there was. Never went anywhere else. The crime went on throughout the world. It was something big that went on. Really, it's not about Republicans and Democrats. It's about two different phases in the same coin politic, ladies and gentlemen. The one who caused the most harm to me was no other than Joe Biden beginning the 1995 and it's exactly what Donald Trump made space, basically took vacation. The two work together. Uh, I will not forget when uh, it was, the situation was such that either Joe Biden got in trouble or Donald Trump needed favor from Joe Biden. They both covered one another. They both assisted one another. And man, there is just this scenario the two built with other politicians, including George Bush, all the politicians from Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, 
they all built this concept of uh, Kamala Harris that was deserved the most for 1996 with Obama, Belgrade, lymph node damage they caused, they caused this initial lymph node surgery damage that it will be the last to depart from uh, political stage concerning my case and for that matter they wanted from me to give Joe Biden Kamala Harris uh, they wanted for me to obtain verbal submission uh, on knees in front of the people who did cause more harm than anybody else throughout my stay in the United States of America and even what appeared afterwards once I uh, left the United States of America once I left uh, hardly earned American citizenship behind and have decided to go back to Europe to Slovenia that these criminals uh, followed me inside of this room not even a house or country but inside of the room where they did some really disgusting stuff behind the doors with the Russians. You know, I think this is important a preliminary step to declare when it comes to Ukraine. Uh, there is already another individual that is pushing forward his agenda uh, and it's interesting how his agenda that's what's interesting to me it's interesting to me it's how his agenda is uh, I'm gonna say it was promoted by Elon Musk it was like Elon Musk was the one who started uh, a dialogue with this guy and I was gonna say when it all started when he appeared on political stage that it always started with a contradictory stuff uh, that this is actually the longtime friend of Elon Musk this so-called Democrat if you want to if you want to call this guy here uh, well in reality this is this guy this Andrew Young this is a privately financiered individual of Elon Musk uh, Elon Musk invested uh, tremendously a lot of American taxpayers money because this guy didn't make this guy in real circumstances had a difficulty to tie his shoes he's really not brilliant at anything really the knowledge he got is American industrial espionage government espionage it's a theft of intellectual property from intellectual people that did develop the stuff uh, it's uh, American taxpayers money they loaded him to become a famous guru and it's American taxpayer knowledge stolen from universities from all sorts of government military facilities centers that is being used for Musk to promote his brand Elon Musk I am not excited about it uh, Elon Musk made an agreement in respect to the Twitter purchase in respect to deal which he left behind on a table hanging on a table prior to a public stunt which he created with Jeff Dorsey the two already made a deal they already got he already got the buyer Al Musk claimed that he got the buyer he got everything he got fucking everything man this guy is a guru of gurus maybe he even fathered a buyer a future buyer from uh, Twitter Jack Dorsey maybe he even maybe he even purchased may I, I should say maybe he even fathered a future buyer of his deal he screwed up together in agreement 
with Jack Dorsey when it comes to Twitter. Maybe he fathered him too, because this is the man that absolutely did everything. But I'll tell you, he did absolutely shit. And it's not I'm saying this because I would be envious of him. I'm saying this because he's a bastard, because he's filthy, because his game is filthy for one thing. He's not a good person. He's a cheat. That's one thing I can tell you based on my own experience. But when I love that stuff alone. But when you get into a politic, Mr. Elon Musk, you start to change tremendously the whole infrastructure of my traffic, of my personal traffic. Now you're getting personal. You're getting personal in a sense that, I don't know how you say that. Uh, in Slovenian language, you say plasty. You are uh, twisting around me a net that is causing a cloud here. Uh, I pointed out an issue between the Democrats, between the Republicans. Uh, I pointed out the issue between Donald Trump and between Joe Biden. And you just started to push forward the option that is going to cloud my situation even more. That's Andrew Young right there. Uh, Andrew Young is just like investments that Elon Musk have committed himself to in respect to China, lately promoted uh, Chinese technology through literally lithium battery, which Chinese um, presented to the world as a battery that is 50% more efficient than his traditional batteries. Let me tell you, the battery, the technology for the battery, uh, Elon Musk obtained his researchers uh, presented the technology already in 2017 as an existing technology. And so what he did was he waited all along and rather than what he would release one himself, he went ahead and he promoted, you know, if you ask me what he promoted, well, he is promoting ideology as seen here. You know, that's ideology that started the war in Ukraine. You know, Moscow can go and Moscow can claim all the Moscow wants to claim. Moscow can go and can claim that they are fighting Nazis in uh, Ukraine. You know, the more you look the Moscow, the more you look Medvedev's map today, he came up today, it looked like uh, more like this here. It looked like more like a Hitler. It looked more like... Uh, Stalin, if there was any difference between the Stalin and Hitler, I don't think there ever was any difference between the Stalin and Hitler. I think there was the same thing between the Stalin and Hitler. Uh, it was just a racial ideology, a Russian racial ideology that had murdered God knows how many Ukrainians under Stalin. It ethnically cleansed them, uh, destroyed half of the Ukrainian territory uh turn one to a half smaller ukraine uh and they had exactly the same kind of policies in place against other people whatever that whatever that be today the china is doing exactly the same thing to the uyghur people you can see the uyghur minority that this is not a province where uyghurs are uh, that would be a province wanted to, uh, from Chinese side of the government, wanted as to assimilate into Greater China. But you can clearly see that their life are concentration camps. You can clearly see that standard of the people as normal that Chinese Republic People's Republic said for the Uyghur people is the same like for the animals uh, inside of the stalls, right? It's like a pig stay or something like this standard. It, the people are inside the concentration camps. You can, you can see, you can see the hatred toward Taiwan. You can see what kind of ideas they keep coming out with the threat they present to the world, the ultimatums. Uh, basically how they enjoy by threatening uh, 
Taiwan, let's say, and it's going to get this this picture is going to get much bigger. They try to get on and on Vietnam and on the Philippines and the whole bunch of countries. They 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 just stole the islands from the Philippines in what they named as South China Sea. So sparkly islands, they just took them away and they are just trying to through the name change of the of the Filipino of the Vietnamese name for the uh, for the sea, they, they just rename one already automatically into South China Sea. The methods they choose for the Chinese people alone, uh, you can see the tanks literally going out on the streets to stop people from getting their money which they saved on a saving on a bank saving account you, you can see that not even Adolf Hitler or Stalin are basically what kind of a people's Republic Communist Party when you when you go uh, to stop people from visiting the banks uh, to get their savings where they deposit their savings basically you go out on the street and you greet them with the tanks and stuff like this the methods are actually maybe even worse Wow, Hitler didn't do that kind of stuff to Germans. Uh, Stalin didn't do that kind of stuff to the Russians. He didn't go about with the tanks to greet people. Uh, none of this, too. Uh, China is not choosy when it comes to its global uh, greed interests. And so this is going to be the biggest problem we are facing. This is definitely the biggest problem we are facing today in the world. So we have an elephant in the room, which is actually supplying Ukraine with the internet issue. With the internet issue, which is completely, this is what Elon Musk does with his star technology, uh, completely in different issue from Joe Biden, because there was no president, American president, who actually go and substitute disgrace of Barack Obama, which deprived Ukraine in 2014 of entire Donbass and uh, Crimea. Both were stolen under Barack Obama's presidency and since Obama did not even move finger, I should say Joe Biden. Yeah, these are two great colleagues. Uh, since 1995 when my case started and I told you that all the figures, all the political figures that commenced involvement in a politic under my case in 1995 are going to stay on a podium in the US you can only be elected twice as a US president and so what we see now is basically identical uh, the one who's going to cause the most harm the one who already caused the most harm not only to me but it's so uh, this is movie about Ukraine and this is exactly what American diplomacy have pushed forward on a table because what they want to do, they already have made a sale. London already made big time sale. The Swiss accounts are loaded with the gold. All that petroleum, all that gas, so all that oil, natural resources in the Russia that was done through the trade. They refer to one when compared to South Arabia. They compared South Arabia when to when. With Russia, they compared one as uh, as almost zero when compared to the Russia. That's how much they have earned through the Russia. Non-comparable. That's how much the British earned with the oil trade, with the gasoline, minerals. Uh, European Union, as you see, is just very assistant about it. Uh, they are actually exploiting all kinds of forms, all kinds of ways, rather than to take a stand. And, you know, in this case, in this political madness, uh, it's always in this crime against me, it was always the people who initially caused harm, the biggest harm, the people who initially created the problem that came out as last as a magic like a solution to all the problems like it's gonna be now here we are it's gonna be a solution and this is what I resent to the US government uh, also when it comes to this 
Elon Musk's politic with which he believes that he's just gonna open some kind of a third option because of which we all got fucked severely in Eastern Europe in Europe and in the world think about when you go to the gas station when you pay out for your diesel or you pay for your gasoline think about the London family think about the tax you're paying now is actually for the gasoline for the oil for for everything you purchase for the price for the food for everything you're paying the tax on their gold on a Swiss accounts this is the gold that eventually did hit your pockets whatever the hell you are whether you're in Britain or Germany or France or Poland or Ukraine or Canada or United States of America or South America or Africa or Australia wherever you are this is the cost now you are paying the cost for the trade you're paying the cost for the trade next to the Russian soldiers next to the wasted all Soviet technology Vladimir Putin is getting rid of modified oftentimes tanks just enough to look like modern versions sent on a Ukrainian front to be blown up literally uh, with the soldiers they don't actually count their lives their Russian lives don't actually count to Putin you too are the one who is paying the cost for all this you are paying the price with the monthly bills you're paying the price with inside of the stores you're paying the euro currency is paying the cost the valuation of the euro cars currency is paying the cost for the British Royals you don't understand how interconnected this stuff is so now when it comes to Ukraine the only thing I can tell you is Russia 100% is in charge this was also taken today today is July the 28th 2022 Russia is in a complete control Russia is in a 100% control of situation in Ukraine that's the only thing I can tell you this girl was to be swept with a merchant of death the Russian trader with the weapons that did go about around the world uh, on uh, sale of uh, toys which as a result murdered quite a lot of people uh, it was illegal and was apprehended uh, for good or bad but I think for nothing other than for improvement of Russian American relations she is no victim she did Russians a favor she is a long friend just like Obama just like Kamala Harris a long friend of Moscow went to Moscow to create a swap issue uh, Russia is 100% in charge Russia is running the game let me give you a little bit more about this uh, time purchase game because that's what this is this is just buying a time it's buying a time we all know the outcome is gonna be let me explain to you like this okay let me be clear about this stuff like this whenever Americans commit themselves to assistance even British did they sent weaponry to Ukrainians uh, however this uh, British weaponry this uh, American weaponry has its limits the German weaponry has its limits they all had a cracks in it which allowed the Russians to advance further and further and further and take more and uh, eventually it positioned the Russians in a situation in which you know uh, Western media complained literally they presented the issue uh, US government let's say or British approved a package of assistance da -da -da -dum, to the Ukraine and as soon as they would give this uh, package they would start to shoot uh, a great detailed uh, satellite uh, 
eagle, hawk alike, uh, issues on the media on how uh, exactly the Russian military should improve itself to be more effective on a war field. They further complained about uh, Ukrainians, which achieved great success. Well, but don't you wanna? Don't you want if you? They it's bad because you keep losing land, and the one that gives you help claims how successful you are. It's not really a good strategy because it's more and more people killed. Over 10 million already escaped, and even with a thousand soldiers a day murdered on Ukrainian soldiers on the Russian Ukrainian front. This is not exactly good news. Why are you claiming that uh, they are decimating Russians all over the place and uh, Russians are all demoralized and they are all uh, they don't actually know what to do that this is this is just uh, uh, the, the, the Russia is going to go bankrupt anytime financially it's a game that's dragging on for what over six months without really results that would guarantee uh, any serious uh, well let's just put it this way uh, If you want to help somebody, plain and simple, if you want to militarily help someone, uh, you don't want to go and claim at the same time how you are afraid of his enemy using nuclear weapons, like the mainstream media terrorized us about how this is this at any time it's going to be nuclear weapons and they Russia have the nuclear weapons and they can be this it can be that and then at the same time for every package that you approve to Ukraine um, you're presenting Ukraine like a winner like somebody that is just basically ridiculing even through the media uh, Russian military how uh, they are humiliated here, they're humiliated there, uh, and at the same time how your, your weapons that you have given are effective, extremely effective thanks to your weapons. That's a strange issue, because if you're so afraid of nuclear weaponry, if you're so afraid to uh, get in and do the air support, guarantee Ukrainian soldier that it's not going to be killed from a bow. Uh, by the Russian fighter jets uh, that's 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 I'm not gonna say that's a double razor uh, psychology but that's actually really incredibly downplaying uh, Ukrainian capabilities Ukraine I read the news yesterday is using outdated Soviet era technology empty-handed without weapons waiting for the Western uh, our, uh, arms to arrive to Ukraine so this is not this kind of stuff does not go hand in hand with your philosophy my dear Western uh, mainstream media stool that you are <laughs> you are really that's what you are your diarrhea delivered on people's desktop every day every morning on their doorsteps in forms also of newspapers you are how can you the hell pride yourself mouth about how effective your technology is on a war field uh, when supposedly you are afraid you for God's sake you don't want to get involved there that's what your ministers your defense ministers your all your prime ministers the politicians claim that it's that it's a, a how dangerous it is because of the nuclear weaponry and so on and so forth that you don't want to trigger a uh, nuclear war and so on if, if you're so afraid why why the hell do you boast for every package that you deliver to Ukraine that's one of the things so the second thing I want to tell you you teach Ukraine and world to tolerate ethnic cleansing, genocide in Ukraine against the Ukrainian people. How incredible it is to present butcher case 
uh, on a daily basis killing of Ukrainian civilians in your media uh, they killed here they run there they killed they killed they killed when you comp when I compare this news with uh, aggressiveness which becomes completely evident from uh, a Russian side however uh, where they don't actually hide the appetite for retaliation they threatened and with a nuclear attack they uh, they actually pride themselves with demoluting destroying killing killing the, making flat huge towns like Mariupol let's say several Ukrainian towns they demoluted they they flattened completely it wasn't about where the fuck you're gonna move from your apartment or house because a tank comes aims at your house or apartment building and just start boom 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 until it's fucked up until you can see it through one and you demonstrate this to us on a daily basis you demonstrate us these things and it becomes to me completely evident because of the type of the strategy that you are taking that the Russian aggressors as Ukrainians call them uh, they take pride in their killing in Ukraine they take pride in doing whatever they're doing they don't give a fuck and they are right their custom uh, their normal which was the case for the last 100 years you could go and kill Ukrainian as a Russian or whatever nothing much is gonna happen to you nothing would have happened to you since Stalin before this you get away with you say murder hell you get away with uh, being a war criminal Putin at the beginning of this was even called war criminal it's again called the Russian president you presented as this case of killing civilians is the opportunity for the Russian military whenever not reaching their objective therefore the opposite Ukrainian military either facilities or uh, soldiers that are defending therefore troops or uh, whatever they are using to defend the Ukrainian territory you are presenting us the case of killing civilians of ethnic cleansing genocide is something that Russian military actually have the right to in order to avenge uh, their uh, losses Vladimir Putin demonstrated us how effective it was uh, not only to Ukrainians but also to us that watch this stuff demonstrated us how effective it is to retaliate an ability to seize certain operation or something that would be out of the context something that they would just could not defend or something that they would lose a certain area to Ukrainian military let's say that they would take one back or something by killing civilians he learned literally to just go and just take the day back by shelling a civilian population that makes Ukrainian soldiers think twice even before pulling the trigger on the gun when facing off with the Russian aggressor, aggression in Ukraine Western media you did this you're doing you're doing this kind of psychological game that you believe you're gonna run that you made an agreement inside of this room literally with a Putin with Medvedev with Lavrov all your ministers that they sit and they they discuss these issues presented them news evaluated me how I'm gonna respond to the news and so on what my response is gonna be ladies and gentlemen you're running a Russian politic in America throughout the Western Europe I'm not gonna even go into the British issues you definitely are this is a no win for the Ukrainian military.
for the Ukrainian military to accomplish any kinds of uh, anything because this is this is the foremost if you go back to killing civilians as the right actually to retaliate for let's say killing a Russian soldier or killing a Russian troops uh, a Russian aggressor therefore uh, you have advanced a certain mentality that is beating down Ukrainian people on a daily basis you are like a death that sits right on top of the Ukraine and is morally destabilizing eating the country on in and out you act like a fucking cancer you act like a Buckingham Palace which for every crime they did against me they prepared a counter response to the mainstream media to the mainstream media and that's exactly what you are you are just doing your best to assist Vladimir Putin in his global conquest for which you're not really in my opinion serious about as you acknowledge China's the greatest threat as you no no sir I think that you're not serious about uh, I can tell you that Elon Musk I can tell you that what's happening right there you're not serious about you're not too serious about this stuff you're saying that you are serious about but Andrew Young and what I see basically is happening I can tell you you are kidding you are kidding the people you're kidding the people of Ukraine you're 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 lying to the people of the United States you're lying the world you are misleading with your mr. Joe Biden big time and Joe Biden is waiting for his ultimate opportunity and that's basically to handle American president Donald Trump back right back most likely to him his presidency as soon as one will get rid of me because I am the one the witness to Ukraine since 1995 about what was taking place here I'm a key witness and mr. Joe Biden the people that you represent the people you are in a game for with they don't represent my interests and they don't represent the interest of Ukraine I'm gonna tell you plain and simple about hypocrisy in the US even more so in Great Britain what can I say people know and people dare not to say much people are terrorized people are threatened you have politicians issue in exampling me with the cancer issues threatening to other like wise-minded likewise minded with the same procedures against them mr. Joe Biden your American presidential duties are completely indifferent and totally in line with Vladimir Putin and with Donald Trump you are completely indifferent you act in a best interest of you that are pushing forward this agenda here and you know it you know it you're fooling around you're fooling around with the world you're fooling around with the people you're fooling around with the voters you are a cancer a real a real problem because of whom this whole thing started now I'm not done with this stuff yet there's more to discuss if you would be and that's when I'm gonna start taking Zelensky seriously because he's great overdue uh, his fault or not his fault still I do not know who exactly he works for you can tell me whatever you want uh, you can say about him whatever you want to say but till actually I will see okay till the day I'm gonna see either Ukrainian troop or Western troop literally taking control over the Russian infrastructure that is special around the cities in proximity of a hundred miles from Ukraine being decimated to degree 
that the Russian soldiers on the front line that are located on Ukrainian side will experience that exact same fear that Ukrainian civilians are experiencing one right now inside of the Ukraine just for Ukrainian military returning the fire in direction of Ukraine I will not take you seriously and it's much more that's needed for that uh, Russians are not bothered with Ukrainian people being killed based on situation we see uh, the protest in Russia based on everybody's knowledge even if they would want uh, are not convinced about their sincerity to change issues and I know for de facto that even if they would want it to they couldn't because just like in China people have met their own government in front of the banking institutions rather tanks than their savings when you get this kind of understanding like this uh, you know it becomes damn clear that the Russian people will not be capable to reverse to change any course any outcome of the war in Ukraine whatever the hell they do you understand and so till the day that I actually see that a Russian soldier in Ukraine not a Russian soldier that calls from Ukraine to the Russia and is complaining about the situation in the war field I don't give a, excuse me about it but when it's gonna be a Russian soldier that's gonna call or maybe even better you're gonna intercept the call from Russia that's gonna go to the Russian soldiers in their front lines and it's gonna be the deliveries are greatly delayed and we're gonna see in the news on the Russian side that bridges are blown up that infrastructures completely are lagging behind that there is serious inability to deliver uh, to um, supply weapons on Ukrainian side uh, but we're gonna see that kind of stuff happening we're gonna see this uh, what should have been all this stuff it should have been the case we're gonna see the air supremacy over Ukrainian skies not Polish tanks uh, sent to Ukraine uh, not the politic of Andrzej Duda of Zelensky that is that is pushing forward this last tanks uh, Polacks uh, and Ukrainians working inside of the factories 24 7 to produce the sufficient amount of tanks as many as possible to be used as a counteroffensive against Russia holy shit which is pissing a black gold black gold is known as a petroleum as oil wealthier than far wealthier than Saudi Arabia when it comes to all these issues you this is impossible you're gonna stop one this is this is a machinery I'll tell you that Russians can what you can produce in Poland in Ukraine and your financial income is limited your resources are greatly limited when compared to Russia it's a lost loss technology you understand you know that you're never gonna lose you're gonna exhaust yourself you're gonna you're gonna get bleed as much as possible and the only thing that's gonna happen is eventually you're gonna stroke a signature on a paper and walk away from it that's all when I'm gonna be on the picture anymore that's exactly what's gonna happen they're gonna melt you down into absolutely nothing there is no way you possibly can match I'm not gonna say quality or ability to fight when it comes to your uh, Russian military because you exceed them <laughs> but when it comes to petroleum <laughs> when you see the gold basically raining uh, out in support to the Russian military there's there is absolutely there, where, where are the limits to this war how can you possibly win this kind of war you can't 
you can't by yourself you can't you see the longer it goes this war the longer it goes the more you are affected the more you're exhausted Russia on the Russian side don't even know what war is yet <laughs> what I have stated to you that's already the stuff that is right now in the hands of Ukrainian people if they watch this in unimaginable yet this is the only imaginable not victory but the return of Ukraine back on a map of the sovereign nations Her Ukraine as you know already lost bigger part than eastern part of the Germany was more than four Belgian states size of the territory uh, and it's more than 10 million people Ukrainian that 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 ran out of Ukraine this is not the win situation to get the win situation you first have to protect your biggest assets that's number one thing and then you have to make sure that the one that is doing evil to you rightfully so fear for killing not only every civilian but even every Ukrainian soldier because he knows that he's going to shoot that somebody's going to be killed on Ukrainian side that's going to be their lines they're going to be somehow horribly horribly decimated and actually worse is going to happen on the Russian side the next day the telephone voice on the telephone says we can't deliver because whatever Stalin was a great liar he always found great excuses that's one and only way everything else is a BS come on we are lying to one another uh, the war goes on Russians are buying time Americans are buying time in American politic which Elon, Tuss, uh, Elon Musk personally took charge this isn't about Twitter anymore this isn't about causing me problems Mr. Elon Musk you're taking now this whole picture into something else into some other direction and you cross that line you cross you cross greatly the line you managed to ruin my life greatly you assisted them tremendously you went from little nobody from South Africa you were never in the picture yet you are a child compared to myself when it comes to this since 1995 now you're taking it to some other extremes that got on my nerve so I have to clear these things out no Andrew Young's no Joe Biden's no Donald Trump's no Kamala Harris's there is a competent people in the United States of America that were not involved in crime against me bring them on use your lives to your full potential and not paying the high price at the fuel tanks inside of the store supplies food paying for the food and that are malnourished as the pensioners are in Britain starving the world and so on use your life to the full potential by building security stability for yourself rather than filling Swiss accounts that's all I gotta say today again is July the 28th 2022 I just wanted to give you an idea about the war I've been watching one and I want you to feel understand the expectations I want you to understand what is inside of the minds what is inside of the heads of the people that are running this picture not only inside of the Kremlin how they see why they see it like this they're okay but where this support how this support is coming how these things are turning why they're turning this way that's all there is thanks for watching this video today is July 28 2022